Hello, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So most global markets are over in Asia for a start. Uh, we actually had a 7% drop in the Shanghai Composite Index yesterday uh, as there was restrictions on margin trading and, a, draw and a, a kind of a reduction in liquidity to try and take some of the heat out of the, um, the, the Chinese stock markets as they have pretty much gone up about 45-50% since the start of the year. So that big correction has put some traders in that part of the world on edge and it's kind of roughly trickled down into some of the other markets, but nothing nothing too major. You can see that yesterday was quite a volatile day. We had been down much lower. We managed to close at the at the top end of the range, just above potential um, support there at 8112. Um, Moving on from the US 30, because to be honest, there's not a lot happening in that market right now. You can see that the UK 100 is grinding up a little bit higher. It's failed to fall through first thing this morning, but we've got 784 as the next potential uh, resistance, which we will hopefully try and break this uh, selection of lower highs right here. So you've got a high, lower high, lower high, lower high. We need it to go a bit higher to break that cycle. Other technical indicators are pretty neutral. We're trading above both moving averages and uptrend is still intact for now. But I can just go ahead and get rid of that, I think. Um, so that's where the UK market is. Moving on to Japan, 225. Uh, interesting, we've got the two negative candles. Yesterday's one's obviously finished. Today's one's still, still going strong. Uh, we are moving lower, but we have been lower still by these long metal candles right here. And we're um, about three quarters of the way towards the next potential uh, resistance at 28.68. And we did have a bit of a reversal in dollar yen last night. Uh, we did break 124 spot 30, only then to move a little bit lower uh, on the back of some uh, Japanese government officials who mentioned that the yen weakness was uh, was not so great for some, some regions, some aspects of their economy. Some people took that as a, as a measure of all, which takes some money off the table in case there is some sort of uh, action, not now, but at some point in the future. So they kind of build up this evidence that, oh, well, if the Bank of Japan might do some sort of uh, intervention in the, in the future. Because you know, we are looking at uh, 13, 15 year highs, uh, 13 year highs actually for dollar yen, so that's quite interesting. So actually, looking at dollar yen, you can see on the intraday chart, it's, it's all over the shop, it's seesawing all over the place, but on the daily um, candlesticks, you can just see that yesterday we just t uh, touched this 124 spot 42, only to move back down again. Actually, just broke it ever so slightly, and we are just consolidating at the moment a little bit below here. So it's not having an immediate sell-off, to be honest. MACD uh, is still moving up nicely. The slow stochastic and RSI are both overbought, haven't yet given a signal to sell. But 124.42 would be the highest that dollar yen's been since 2002. West Texas crude doing okay actually. Uh, crude oil inventories came out um, less than expected. Uh, so that was kind of interesting in that regard because the hammer formation that we've got normally from a technical perspective that would be seen to be quite a strong reversal signal um, but I think you're going to see uh, West Texas crude still crimped by dollar strength uh, which we're not really seeing a huge amount of first thing this morning to be honest like cable is reversed uh, well actually against cable is done, done okay your dollar it's, it's not so bad but um, the dollar could still have a little bit of extra room for maneuver, which would obviously cause a little bit of downwards pressure on West Texas crude. But hammer formation here right now anyway, but no follow through so far. Moving on to gold, gold's been not doing a huge amount. Uh, again, volatile session yesterday. 1186 is obviously uh, an important strategic level for many traders here. We've been below it, but we keep closing pretty much bang on it. Each time it tries to tick up a little bit higher, it gets pushed back down again. So we've got this flattening out of the candles at 1186, uh, 87. Uh, I think we're just waiting for some more macro data, which I believe we might even have some today uh, in America. Big one, GDP, uh, and that could be the one that could be a precursor to the next uh, set of moves on the American stock markets and also for uh, rate, talk, rate talk. Obviously this is a real big one as to the strength of the American economy. Um, recent data releases have been surprisingly quite bullish considering they had been so weak for some, some time but at one thirty UK time uh, that could have a, a decent impact. In fact if we fast forward on to Monday next week uh, a whole bunch of Eurozone uh, CPI data, so inflation data, and then PMI data in the US as well. And then if we go into Tuesday, uh, we do have CPI and uh, some US uh, domestic auto sales stuff, but um, Greece obviously needs to get to some sort of deal soon. Uh, I think they're hoping to have something done by uh, Sunday. Uh, it's the 5th of June that they need to make their next payment 
uh, of debt uh, and also pay out their pensions and uh, everything else. So they really need a deal, but it's going to go down to the wire. So looking at GBPUSD, you can kind of see that once it broke this uptrend line, it has then reversed and moved down lower. It's been lower yesterday than what it is now, but this is a great uh, series of, of candles. So it's had six down days in a row. One spot 51.85 is the next potential support level. Technicals are all pretty neutral, to be honest. And then finishing up with uh, with your dollar, your dollar managing to squeeze out two positive days there uh, for Thursday and Wednesday. We are trading pretty much bang on that 55 period SMA. Longer term potential resistance, one spot 11. And as you know already, one spot 0786 is potential support. So we're slap bang in the two ranges. MACD is just crossing the zero line, so that's negative uh, from a technical analysis perspective. Whereas the RSI and the slow stochastic are not doing a huge amount. Um, so. I wouldn't be looking at your dollar if it's in the middle of these two ranges right now, but uh, I think it's dollar yen, that's where a number of traders are still going to be looking, and uh, we just need to get above 124.42 with some conviction, and then see what happens after that. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layer going forward, and join us again on Monday to find out what happened next.